<laughs> hey you guys, it's Rachel Ray to lose 77. Y'all, I look a mess. It's been a long, long time since I've done a video. Um, I don't even know what I updated, updated y'all on last time because this is a different laptop and I have to get all that stuff off of the other laptop to even go back and find out when we spoke last. I do remember telling y'all about a man that I was dating. Um, I am now married to that man. I don't have my wedding band on because, or I would show y'all my wedding band because, um, you know, when I'm up cleaning and doing yard work and stuff, I don't, um, I don't wear it. Um, so we've gotten married. We bought a new home. Um, um, we created this. <laughs> this is my son. Um, he's two months old. He was born April 22nd. Um, you know, Louisiana, we know we got to have the crawfish shirt on and his little crawfish shorts. <laughs> but his name is Daniel Alcana Lewis. Um, Daniel is my stepfather and my youngest brother's name. Um, Alcana is my grandfather, father, and my oldest brother's middle name. Uh, but we call him Cain. Um, uh oh, little bit. I'm oh, sorry, y'all. Hold on a second. Okay. Um, I have um, recently been cleared, even though it's been eight weeks, um, to be able to do um, cardio is what I've been cleared to do. Um, I did have a hard time healing from my C-section. Sorry, videos are going to be difficult to make. My 15-year-old is still asleep. As some of y'all know, who do know me well, um, I have a 15-year-old daughter, and then for 15 years, I was never able to have children, and then I guess the Lord saw fit that, um, Don was the, you know, the one for me to have a, my son with. Um, it's been an amazing blessing. I did have a difficult, difficult pregnancy. I'm 36 years old. Uh, I didn't get gestational diabetes, but I got, uh, I was hypertensive, uh, throughout my pregnancy. I had to be on blood pressure medicine. And I went to two doctor's appointments a week, uh, my regular uh, OBGYN and then my high-risk specialist. Um, he was perfectly healthy, he was born three weeks early due to my blood pressure, um, but he was eight pounds, three ounces, um, 20, no, 19 and three quarters inches long. And um, they said if he had been born full term, that he would be in somewhere between 10 and 11 pounds, which my daughter was 9'3". I was born 10'1", so it makes sense. As y'all can see, I've got the stretched uh, neck collar shirt from the mother. From being a mother, I probably had spit on me. It ain't no telling, but no makeup. Uh, this is just how it is. Um, uh, I do manage to keep my house and my yard in order. Uh, I know I used to share videos about stuff like that with y'all. Some of y'all enjoyed it. Some of them, you know, this is just for weight, wanting to be watched for weight loss. Um, and I will share some of those things um, uh, with some people because I still enjoy watching those type of videos when people share more of their life than just their weight loss um, because that is our huge journey but that's not who we are you know that's what we're trying to accomplish um, my highest weight was 332 pounds I had the lap band surgery my lowest was 232 pounds um, I had um, to have my fluid removed from my band because I couldn't uh, keep anything down. Uh, I don't know, kept a little bit in there, but not very much of anything, nothing that restricts me. Um, I, I didn't really consume a lot of food during my pregnancy, but I ate sweets and I craved sweets a lot, and that is the gist of my weight gain. And I honestly thought that it was gonna come down more because with my daughter, I was 232 when I got, or, well, I was 2.30ish when I got pregnant. Hold on, man. Um, I was 2.98 the day of delivery, and I left the hospital at 241 pounds. I did not do that with my son. Uh, I, I got a little bit over 300. Let me see a little bit of piece of this head. got a little bit over 300 pounds with him, and uh, the lowest I saw on the scale was uh, 278. Um, unfortunately, because I haven't been trying to do anything, I'm 280, 
I think it was 287 pounds this morning. I'll have to go recheck my, my scale does uh, uh, save the, the weights and stuff. Um, like I said, being clear to be able to go back to um, doing cardio and stuff. And now the home that we bought is in Greenwood. So I am right around the corner from the gym that I used to work out at. Um, uh, you okay? But as y'all know, having a child, uh, my husband works uh, 10 hours a day. Um, I'm a school bus driver, and my daughter was not brought up in the air, and we, brought, we were brought up with. She doesn't have any other siblings. So for me to leave him, she's getting them much, much better. Uh, but for me to leave him for 30 minutes to an hour is with her is kind of difficult right now. She gets real nervous when he does things like sound like he's spitting up or choking or anything like that because she doesn't have experience with babies but um we're fi you know i'm going to figure it out and work it in um i do have videos i can do here at the house but everybody know anybody knows as a mother of a new uh born you know um time consuming he is time consuming um and as many of y'all know i'm a perfectionist so I have to have everything up to par all the time. <sighs> but I am ready. Um, I, I do have a wonderful husband who supports me, who loves me, just as I am. Um, yeah, I know this is, you know, maybe TMI. He has seen more of my actual physical body than anybody other than my mother and my daughter have ever seen. No man ever. Um, he helped take care of my wound during... Um, you know me healing from my c-section because we did have issues with um with with me healing um in one particular area of the um c-section like towards the middle of it um i was fixed during my c-section but um and you know for me that was a hard thing to go through because i don't really care for him to see that part of me, but for him to still love and accept and be attracted to me no matter what, you know, it's, it's been amazing, but I have to think in terms of when my daughter's 30, my son is 15. When my daughter's 30, I'm 51. I'll be 51 when he's 15 years old. So I'll be about 54, 55 when he graduates high school. So in order for me to live a long, healthy life and enjoy children, you know, enjoy his childhood and enjoy grandchildren and be around to see his grandchildren, my grandchildren with him, I need to get and stay healthy, you know, make healthy choices, and it's never too late to do that. Um, just like at 36, I never thought I'd be having my second child. Uh, he's a wonderful blessing. He's such a good kid. Um, my daughter is doing amazing with him, much better than I thought she would, and Y'all don't believe me? My daughter will testify to this. She's in the bathroom. He can say mama, and he says mom plain as day at two months old. I thought my daughter was something else because at five months old, she could say mama, baba. Uh, she could call her dog's name. Ben was his name. She called him Ben um, because she was extremely intelligent. He's more baby-like, but yet that's the only thing he says is mama. Everything else is a coo and a cough. But, um, anyways, um, uh, I'm going to try to do weekly updates. Um, I'm just, like I said, I'm just going to get back into swinging and things. Uh, there's cookies in my house. There's nothing healthy. My husband told me last night. For me to not cook separate meals for me, not to worry about that. If I eat turkey burgers, patties, and salad, he'll eat turkey burger, patties, and salad. Um, so that is a huge thing for me because as a wife, we feel like we have to put casseroles and, you know, things that everybody will enjoy, you know, and then cook a whole separate meal for yourself. And with a child, you know, boiling bottles and doing all that every night, it's just not convenient, you know, and you get to the point where you realize you'll be eating the same thing over and over again, and that becomes monotonous, and then that's when you eat things that you don't need to eat, so I'm going to sit down and start doing the planning, and I'm going to go back and look at things that I've ate before, and uh, just relearn how to do it all over again, um, I'm excited about it, 
I'm, I'm ready to do it. Uh, my other cousin who got the lap band uh, not too long before me, she had to have revision because hers slipped and she got gastric sleeves. So she was a little, she'd gotten her back over 200 pounds. Uh, she never got as big as I did, but um, she's losing weight and I'm so excited for her and to see what happens with her. Um, I don't know if my band has slipped. Um, I won't know, I guess, until I start getting feels and we'll see if food stays down. If not, I have to make the decision whether I want to do the revision with the gastric sleeve or if I just want to continue this journey on my own like many people on here do. Um, but anyways, thank you for watching. I'm still watching y'all. I can't comment because I have not yet figured out how to link the Google account things, but my, my daughter's going to help me do it so that I can comment on y'all's videos and um uh, y'all have a blessed day and um i guess that's it i'll talk to you later bye